And right now, the arrival of President Trump is happening just minutes away. Joining us live is our Christine Galvan with the latest. Hey, Dina, a lot of excitement here just within the last 60 seconds. Going to step out of the frame here and let you see why. You can see in the sky right there a very large plane with some very bright lights. We do believe that that is Air Force One carrying President Donald Trump, the 45th President of the United States. This will be his first trip to the valley. This is Sky 5 shot, a live Sky 5 shot. This will be President Trump's first visit to the valley since becoming president. Uh, several valley uh, mayors are here on the tarmac waiting for the president's arrival. We've seen the mayor of Mission, Armando Acaña, as well as the McAllen mayor, and you can see Air Force One touching down right now. The president left uh, Washington, but not before he spoke to reporters about the reason for this trip. He is here. Uh, pushing for his bid to build a border wall. He wants to be able to secure more than $5 billion in funding for border security, including a border wall. And you can see there the president's plane has just landed. A lot of security out here awaiting his arrival. We've seen other government planes landing within the last uh, hour or so, carrying other uh, folks from Washington, D.C. There are helicopters up in the air right now. I've been trying to send text messages from here, and they're not going through, so we assume that there were precautions taken due to the president's landing. Uh, we also saw a fairly large group of people escorted out here to McCreary Aviation. They were invited to meet the president. I spoke to a woman who said her sister works with a government agency, and that is how she was invited. She was uh, escorting her niece and nephew who did miss school in order to be here today. Um, I did ask what they were going to say on their absence for tomorrow, and they said, well, maybe they'd get a chance to ask the president to sign their excuse. Um, I did also see a former Channel 5 reporter who is married to a federal agent, as well as a number of men dressed in fatigues. The president, again, just landed. He is expected to meet with those pre-selected community members and then head over to the McAllen Border Patrol Station where he will attend the 2 p.m. shift briefing. We have received mixed reports about what will happen next. We are told he will likely then head to Anzaldua's Park. We do know both Texas Senators, Ted Cruz and John Cornyn, are also in the Valley, and they are expected at Unzaldua's at about 3 p.m. An interesting note, the last time a sitting president came to the Valley was almost 13 years ago. George W. Bush came in 2006. He also visited Anzaldua's, and he was also here to discuss border security and immigration reform. The president, again, as you know, is here as part of his push to secure funding for the border wall. He wants $5.7 billion. In 2006, when Bush 43 was here, he spoke about having just secured a $4.6 billion dollar package for border security. He also said he got an additional $1.9 billion in immediate funding for the border. That combines it to $6.5 billion for border security again. That was almost 13 years ago in 2006. Now, since then, the nation has continued to experience problems with the immigration system, mass migration by unaccompanied Central American children uh, in 2014 under President Barack Obama, and mass migration by Central American families seeking asylum last year during Trump's presidency and right now. Before leaving Washington, this was just a few hours ago, the president did speak to reporters, and we are taking a live look here at Air Force One taxiing along the runway. The president warned those reporters in Washington, D.C., that a much larger migrant caravan is organizing in Honduras as we speak. He told the reporters that censors will not stop that caravan, but a wall will. Democrats disagree, and in the meantime, Parts of the government remain closed. But out here, there are a lot of federal agents providing security. A lot of them have been out here for hours, as have we. A large number of reporters from around the state, some from out of state, are here. We spoke to some reporters that came in from Albany, New York. Um, they were on the shuttle with us as we arrived here at McCreary 
uh, aviation at the airport here. So that is the latest from out here. Dina, I'm going to send it back to you.